Aloha, good morning, afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Happy, happy, happy to be with you today. It's a Wednesday, and I think it's the 27th. Let's see, Monday, yep, 27th of December. Two days after Christmas, it feels like almost a year. Been very busy myself, I'm sure you have too. Yesterday was Boxing Day. All the stores were full with everybody bringing things back. But today is day 10 of the 10 days of the 10 Das. <coughs> and the previous um, nine Das, I was going to say days, but actually took about 12 days to do the previous nine. The previous nine Das uh, were very, very relevant to today. And I'm going to go into that, how they all stack upon each other and lead to the greatest enlightenment, which is the 10th Da. This entire service, the 10 days of the 10 Das, has been to not only educate you, but to awaken you to how simple the path is to higher layers and higher levels of awakening and enlightenment. And to bring um, opportunity into your life of a different way to simplify some of the suffering that you may or may not be going through. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, I invite you to stay if this is your first time. You can also uh, like and subscribe and you'll be able to access my Facebook page and scroll back through and watch the other seven DAWs or the other uh, nine DAWs, excuse me. Some of you are more podcast oriented. You're just not able to sit down at one, uh, one time and watch a video, but you're kind of mobile and you prefer podcasts. You can find about those also by following the link above the video, going to my webpage. And uh, I'm on Apple iTunes and a couple of the, the players and you can actually, if you go to my page, you can actually have it delivered to your email. So there's a lot of different ways to receive these podcasts. And basically they run about a week late uh, because I have to download them off the internet from the previous week and turn the video into an audio and then put it back up there as a podcast. It's quite, a, quite an undertaking actually. But I do that for you so that you have uh, the ability to to take this with you, to share with other people. There's a lot of different ways in which this can serve you. <clears throat> so I tell you about that uh, so that you're aware of different ways you can stay connected. So today is two days after Christmas and about four or five days before the new year, depending on what part of the world you're in. And this new year should have quite a bit in store for it. We have uh, in the Americas, we have quite a bit of unique political tensions and um, uh, the world is in a very difficult place right now. One of the reasons that the 10 Da have been brought to humanity is to assist each and every one of us with a different way to approach the various stressors that come into our life. Let's see who's joined us so far today. Welcome LaRonda, Aloha Princess Lee, Aloha Vanessa and Kristen Strachan. Welcome also to Larissa Wood. <clears throat> and welcome Kristen Rojas, thank you for your universal service. Welcome Maha Mahanasuk, Mahansuk Singh. And welcome also Janice and welcome Paula Hyatt. Uh, also Aloha to Danta, welcome Danta. Welcome also to Jim, also known as Coaster Nut. And welcome Elizabeth. Happy New Year to you also, Princess Lee. <clears throat> and welcome Don Brown, Aloha Angie Taylor. Welcome Christina Thorson. Welcome Lisa Zarniak. And Aloha to anybody else if I missed your name. Thanks for joining. Thank you for hitting the share button, letting other people know about uh, this live stream. So why we gather and wait for people to come, I invite you to, to return and listen to the flows, specifically the last three times I did. Uh, I did Greatest Flourishing. I've done all the 10 DAWs, but Greatest Flourishing, Greatest um, Service yesterday, <clears throat> Greatest Gratitude, and today Greatest Enlightenment. And I did what's called the Divine Flow, in which I ask the soul of these uh, qualities to speak.
Yesterday was pretty amazing. The greatest service had a lot of unique things to say. Kind of hard to paraphrase since it's not my own words. <clears throat> but it was certainly a different way to look at service and a certain way, different way to recognize how service can be accomplished than just uh, going down to the local soup kitchen. So welcome, Magot Rate. Welcome, Ferdy Cruz. Welcome, Craig Beam. And Aloha, Catherine O'Shea. Welcome also. And thank you, Kristen Strachan, and you and all of the uh, postal service workers, FedEx workers, UPS workers, all of those out there working their tail off during the holidays. Thank you so much for your unconditional service. Welcome also to Hector Wallo. And I'm glad you love the energy here. It's just going to get better. <clears throat> so let us start by connecting heart to heart, soul to soul. I apologize for my throat clearing, as usual. Not a problem whatsoever for the first six hours before I see you. But the minute I go live, all the purification starts on my lungs. All of the cleansing occurs and you get to joyfully hear me clearing my lungs. So I apologize. It only happens during my live streams. Because that's the nature of working with frequencies. Clearing out the old stuff. <coughs> okay. Let us place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, hand mudra position. Which, when we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, it connects us directly to heaven and to our heart center. Let us close our eyes and I will invite in the beings of light and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao and the source. Our beloved spiritual mothers and fathers, our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. I love you, I honor you, I respect you. We all love you, honor, and respect you, and I bow down to you. <clears throat> we invite all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, and saints, Buddhas and bodhisattvas. We invite beloved Jesus and Mother Mary. We invite beloved Namo Amitofu Buddha and Kuan Yin. Lingui Shang Shui. We invite Happy Buddha. We invite Medicine Buddha. We invite Krishna and all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side. We ask most humbly and most sincerely for your presence today to come to sit in each one of our heart centers. Bless us to more fully awaken to the ten great qualities of the greatest love, forgiveness, compassion, light, the greatest humility, harmony the greatest flourishing, the greatest gratitude, the greatest service, and today the greatest enlightenment. We ask that you bring many aha moments to us so that we can reach enlightenment as quickly as possible <clears throat> and release the uh, falseness that keeps us in this 3D world. We are extremely grateful. We invite the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes to please turn on. And we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us today. I ask each and every one of you to receive the blessings when I chant this song. You're welcome to join with me in chanting. You're welcome to make a request at this time since this is a healing mantra. And Kristen Rojas is an awesome universal servant. She always posts the words if you're new and you'd like to know the words. And also how to locate the song, download it for free. It can bring healing miracles into your life and that's not an understatement. So, welcome to receive. Let us chant together. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, la, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. I I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. 
join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony <clears throat> ha, ha, ha. thank you thank you thank you all right so let me check in with who else has joined us and then we'll go straight into the wisdom blessings and teachings so welcome uh, i might have mentioned your name but we'll state it again welcome ferdy welcome peggy blake welcome uh, Craig Beam, Aloha Agote, 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 welcome Elizabeth, welcome Hector, uh, welcome Jennifer Caress, and Aloha Skyler, Aloha Igor, welcome also to Kathy Arnold, and welcome John Crawley, welcome also Ilona, and welcome Angie Taylor, welcome to Tammy Hancock, and if I missed your name, again, please forgive me. Uh, feel free to share. And if, if you're new and you need to run out for some reason, uh, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And you can always come back to the page and see it again. So as has been working quite well in the previous nine das, it is best to receive the guidance directly from heaven. So aloha, Ivan. So I'm going to ask the soul of Da Yuan Man, which is a Mandarin Chinese word, just like the previous ten das, Da... Um, <clears throat> da Ai, Da Quan Shu, Da Tsibei, Da Guang Ming, Greatest Love, Forgiveness, Compassion, Light, Da Chen Bei, Da He Shei, Da Chang Sheng, Greatest um, uh, Humility, Greatest Harmony, Greatest Flourishing, and in the last three days, Da Ganan, Da Fu Wu, and today, Da Yuan Man, Greatest Gratitude, Greatest uh, service and today greatest enlightenment da yuan man welcome janet byron aloha and welcome janet de Klippel. so i am always surprised by the quality of the information that comes through when we ask these souls to communicate because there's some new folks i have to give a brief uh, explanation everyone's familiar with channeling uh, uh you know receiving messages from the soul world but a lot of people are not familiar with receiving those messages from inanimate things. Uh, in the wisdom and teachings of Master Shah, everything is from Creator. So that includes a word, a phrase, or something that is a possibility, like the possibility of a success in a business that hasn't happened yet, etc. So everything has a soul because Creator is originator and Creator creates everything. So when the, when the ten das were brought to humanity roughly four or five years ago, these ten great qualities, uh, they have a soul, they have a purpose. The purpose of life is to serve, and they are all unconditional universal servants. So they also have a message to share with us, and I have tuned in to these messages the last few days. So I will again tune in and speak for the soul of Da Yuan Man, the greatest enlightenment, or speak on behalf of this soul. So please enjoy. <coughs> So dear the soul of Da Yuan Ma, the greatest enlightenment, I love you, honor you, respect you, and I deeply, deeply appreciate your unconditional service. I ask most humbly that you please borrow my mouth and offer guidance to all those watching today as to the power and significance of your quality and what you wish to share to each and every one of us that can best assist us on our journey as appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, how I am the soul of the mantra of the quality of Da Yuan Man, the greatest enlightenment. I could stop with these words and it would be enough, for I am has been said before. In the state of I am, one is everything and nothing. The greatest enlightenment is this complete awareness. 
for the greatest enlightenment is the return to the source, the Tao, the oneness from which you were born. Of course, the ever-ending question, how does one return there, is present. There is actually a fast path. It is quietness, stillness, emptiness, and then nothingness. But this task is too much for many of you. Therefore, the ten da have been brought to humanity. In the ten da are the qualities to reverse the creation of that which has been created in your individual and unique experience. Some of you love to play in this game you call life. And that is well and good. For it is truly part and parcel of the entirety of creation to play and to experience it. It was never intended to be something that was filled with suffering necessarily. But as the Great One, Amitabha Buddha, has stated, life is suffering. The Ten Da have been brought to you through the one known as Master Shah to serve you and to assist you to alleviate what you perceive as suffering. When one applies each of these great qualities of love, unconditional love, full and complete forgiveness not only to and for others, but especially to and for self. When one has the compassion for each soul, not only human, when one radiates the light of their beloved Creator, is free of need for recognition, validation, and the need to be seen. When one is free of doing to have and instead lives in the allowing. When there is on the tip of each moment the recognition and actualization of gratitude, there is but nothing else to pay attention to and one simply walks and lives in service. When one has accomplished these nine da, they are in the light of the highest enlightenment. And from here, the stillness the emptiness and the nothingness can seed, release, purify, and wash away all that you have given reality to, known as this life. It is when these ten das are actively actualized that creation is reversed. 
And it is in the reversal of creation that enlightenment is achieved. Ponder these final words, as the big way is extremely simple. It has been my honor to offer you this guidance and wisdom. And this is the soul of the mantra and quality Da Yuan Man, the greatest enlightenment. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing. Just amazing some of the things that come through. Thank you, thank you, thank you, that beautiful soul. <clears throat> so, when Master Shah brought the first seven of the ten Da's, he used the book, I don't have it in front of me, Soul Over Matter. Again, for those of you that are, um, you know, want to increase your financial flourishing, I do recommend the book, Soul Over Matter. He combined his wisdom of Soul Over Matter, transform the soul blockages first and the mind and the body will follow. He actually helped one of the major gurus in the money industry who took many people to wealth through mind over matter and leveled him up and they wrote a book together. And it started with those first seven da's. When we get into eight, nine, and ten, <clears throat> those came uh, shortly after that book was released. And so as during this week, as we have been doing, I have been chanting the mantra associated with each of those da's. And yesterday, if you missed it, please go back and watch it. Da Fu, the greatest service. Some tremendous wisdom like today came through. And one of the things that came through also uh, as I was talking it's, was the reason why we chant the mantras. Um, and a lot of it simply boils down to the frequency. When we uh, place our hands in a certain position, it brings greater frequency that, to that area. When we chant a mantra, what we chant is what we become. It brings a frequency. When we call forth the beings of light and by name, it brings forth higher frequency. Um, what's the purpose of all that? It's the, it's the five powers. It's the four powers, you know, body power, mind power, sound power, and soul power. <clears throat> when we employ these four powers and we, we add, for example, the greatest enlightenment uh, calligraphy card, which has extraordinary power placed in it, and you trace something like that, what in essence is occurring is we're clearing our blockages, our soul, heart, mind, energy, matter blockages, clearing our karma, if you will, which of course brings us closer to enlightenment. But, but most importantly, what I want you to understand is we're elevating our frequencies, okay? Because there is a path, reverse creation, as was mentioned in this flow, is from one to two to three, from three to two to one. I mentioned this in yesterday as well. One is original creation. From one creates two. What is two? Two is heaven and earth, yin and yang. All things are born from the two. So creation <coughs> created yin and yang, heaven and mother earth, and then all forms of creation come from that, including humanity. So we're at the bottom in number three. And so how do you reverse creation? Well, you apply the 10 Da's as was indicated in this flow. But on the way of reversing creation, we go back through the layers. Mother Earth is not the same layer as heaven. Heaven is a higher frequency. Mother Earth is not the same frequency as heaven. But Mother Earth is a dramatically higher frequency than a human being. She's been here for billion years at least. We, we come, live 100 years, die. Start again, live 100 years, die. I think her frequency is quite a bit higher than ours. She is a soul also, and she is going through her process of moving to a higher layer planet. And so when we elevate our frequency to Mother Earth's frequencies, and then secondarily to Heaven's frequencies, and then to Tao and creation frequencies, this is the process of reverse creation. So the 10 Da's are designed to assist us to move from our physical world blockages all of our mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, attachments, all of our selfishness, all of our heart-related blockages, all of these are, are keeping us mired in this third dimensional world. Uh, the television, the news, all of the negativity, right? We've got to turn that shit off, right? Just focus on the light. And so as we uh, go through this process of awakening, becoming enlightened, so to speak, we need tools. We need things that will assist us. We need things that will basically bring up our frequency. And so that's what the purpose of the 10 Da's are. <clears throat> I'm going to go uh, acknowledge a few people that may have come in when I was doing the flow. 
So make sure I acknowledge everyone as much as possible. So welcome Janet Byron. Welcome Angela Diacomo. Aloha Shirley Schuster. Uh, welcome also to, um, I think I mentioned you, Tammy Collins. Uh, welcome Carl. Welcome also to Richie. And Aloha Monica. Uh, welcome Edna. Welcome M.A. Drade and Aloha Michelle. Michelle, Michelle. And welcome also to Alicia J. Kwan. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. And so, all of us want to stop the suffering. You know, what did Buddha say? Life is suffering. <clears throat> Why did he teach us that? It can be a very negative, right? What is the meaning? Life is suffering. When you look at it directly as it is, you can actually rise above it. You can say, I choose not to, to, to live life in suffering. I choose to show up. I choose to see everything exactly as it is and respond with the ten da qualities. What did Buddha do? What did Jesus do? What did any of the great masters do? They always gave love. They always forgave. They did not judge. They did not have ego. They did not do anything. They shined their light. They were always walking in gratitude and they always gave credit to their source creator. So did they have problems? Yeah. Yeah, they had problems. Buddha was starving. Okay. Uh, Jesus had everyone going against him, trying to put, you know, put him on a cross, all kinds of stories. So yeah, they had significant problems. Do we have problems? Yes, we do. Okay. So how do we overcome them? We apply the wisdom they bring to us in our current modern day life. And we have a lot of things going against us, right? What are the things going against us? Everything that is opposite of love. Everything that is opposite of forgiveness. Everything that is opposite of compassion. Fear is constantly working against us, right? Control. Look at how much control is out there in society. Massive, massive amounts of control. Control through religious systems. Control through the media. Control through the, through the uh, um, organizations. Uh, many of them not so wonderful. So these are all designed to inhibit us from re uh, reaching higher layers of enlightenment. <clears throat> the opportunity to move from where we are to where we wish to be must be done on a conscious level. We can, as was indicated in the flow, simply go into quietness and then stillness and then emptiness and then into a place of nothingness. Yes, we can do that. Uh, but that requires you to have money coming in and uh, the ability to go sit in a cave for maybe a couple of years, uh, have somebody feed you and give you water as needed and basically just be there and do nothing. And you may reach a layer of enlightenment and you know, go up. Now, under the, I've trained under three different enlightened masters. Truly, no questions asked, definitely enlightened masters. And the same thing happened to each and every one of them. I heard the story different. I, nobody knew that I knew each individual's story, but I heard the same story uh, in, a, in its own unique way from each of them. And basically what they said was when they, when the light bulbs came on and the universe opened up and everything came in and they got the big picture, when that happened, they were told, okay, now it's choice time. You can stay here and help humanity, or you, you can uh, elevate and just hang out here with God, hang out here with the angels. They're still here. Those three chose to stay here and serve. They were truly on the enlightened path. They knew what was happening. One of the things that happened when Heaven showed them that choice <coughs> was the direction that humanity is headed. And it wasn't a pretty thing. And they said, the idea is to, is to help as many souls as possible to elevate their awakening, to move them away from selfishness, move them away from greed and corruption and hurting others and, and you know, everything that is not serving their soul journey and assist them to awaken. One of them, one particular master, did it through uh, opening up people's energy bodies. That was the first one I trained under. A different master did it through um, healing people, miracle healing, okay, waking them up that way. The master I'm training with now, Dr. and Master Shah, in my observation and having gone through my own path, you all have your own version of your path, uh, has the the most um, has brought to humanity the greatest spread of wisdom and the greatest tools towards enlightenment. I have not come across anybody that so freely gave 
of this information. You have to literally uproot yourself from here, go live with a guru in India, or uproot yourself, go walk back into the mountains of China, possibly die or not die until somebody finds you, and you have to have a bleeding heart, you know, really just 24 hours a day before that, because gurus over there, they know, they know you're looking for them. They're not, you know, blind, they're, they're awakened. Uh, they may come for you, they may not. Depends on how true your heart is. That's typically what people have to do to get the high level of enlightenment wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us. So uh, if you don't know that, become educated. Don't follow me. <clears throat> don't follow these words. You know, I, I, I teach this because I do the practices and it validates as true. So if you don't know that, then do the practices. Pick up a book, listen to an audio book, uh, you know, allow the ego to be bashed down a little bit. So you maybe don't know what you think you know. Um, you'll be quite surprised that a truly enlightened being has no ulterior agenda. Their only agenda is to awaken as many souls as possible, to save as many lives as possible, because we're in the middle of a cleanse. I wasn't expecting to talk about this, but this is where the flow is going. And that cleanse is pretty obvious if you're sleeping under a rock you wouldn't know about it but basically <clears throat> there's a whole lot of darkness and there's a whole lot of light the darkness is actually only maybe uh, uh the percentage that is controlling the world not that big you know less than five percent but they have the control of the 95 percent because of the various manipulations blah 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 again wake up <clears throat> the light side has quite a bit more people gathered towards the light but they're not working in oneness and this is the dilemma. So that's why uh, these 10 Da's were brought. <clears throat> because everybody can practice these qualities. And when they do, they're clearing their, their collective spiritual karma. You clear your collective karma. I clear my collective karma. We all do our part, aligning to the 10 Da's, forgiveness, uh, love, uh, being compassionate towards others, uh, flourishing our life, having gratitude, removing ego, removing negativity, removing the need to be seen, heard, removing all of those aspects. And what are we doing? We are becoming Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. We are becoming uh, beneficial to each other. Because just by becoming that, people see that. They want what, they, what you are shining. And so then you give them that wisdom. You share a little bit of your love and your light with them. That uplifts them. The more people that are awakened through this simple process of the ten da, the simple process of following love, forgiveness, compassion, light, the simple process of removing ego. We just need to all collectively do this on a consistent basis. And it's no different than... Uh, uh, bringing good quality vitamins into a, a body where the cells are degraded. Cells regenerate themselves all the time, but they regenerate themselves with whatever you're putting in your body. So if you're putting in pizza and hamburgers, the cells are regenerating with pizza and hamburgers. The, the, the human creation, all, all these human beings, we're all one. And so what are we regenerating ourselves with? Okay, if we regenerate ourselves with the 10 Da's, then we are positively impacting all the cells around us and they start feeding off that higher frequency, that higher energy. So the greatest enlightenment is many different pathways. Yesterday, under the uh, Da Fu, the greatest service, one of the statements that was made was that the highest gate, the highest gate, it's right here, the, the last line. Here's the lines from... Uh, uh, the uh, uh, the mantra from Da Fu Wu, Jo Da Fu Wu Shi Wei Gong Pu Wu Shi Gong Feng Shen Shang Chang Fa Men Shang Chang Fa Men translates to the highest sacred gate of the source creation is selfless service, highest gate. So there are many different gates to enlightenment, okay? Some people just sit. The first master I told you I trained under, the first enlightened master, what did he do? He climbed a mountain. He didn't drink any water. He didn't eat. And he kept himself awake for 21 days. That's how he reached enlightenment, okay? That's a pretty graphic way to do it. Uh, and, and he survived. He was talking about stories how he would tie his hair up to a to a tree branch and sit on the edge of a precipice of water, a uh, short waterfall. And if he fell, he would fall into the waterfall and, and the hair would keep him awake. He, all these different stories about how he forced himself to uh, reach this whole enlightenment. There are many different ways to accomplish it. The highest and best way 
is through service. Most of us don't have the conditions where we can just be 24 hour 7 service. So what was some of the wisdom again yesterday to reach enlightenment? Just being in your car, smiling, enjoying the beauty around you is great service. Why? Because you're radiating a higher frequency. You're not adding to the negativity, you're adding to the positivity. This world is yin and yang. It is made of heaven and earth and all the creation of heaven and earth. When we bring ourselves into that higher frequency, staying in gratitude, seeing those things, choosing love, forgiveness, compassion, light, choosing these as a consistent choice versus choosing something negative, whining, complaining, gossiping, jealousy, all of these other negativity. Oh, my parents this, oh, that coworker that, blah, 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 blah. What do you think that's doing to your, to your frequency, first of all? But more importantly, what's it doing to the whole? We are all cells in the same body. <clears throat> Just like the other cells in your physical body, what are you feeding it? These 10 Da's are the nourishment from heaven and mother earth that will easily and effortlessly bring you on the path back to where you wish to be and move you away from suffering. So now let's read the 10 Da lines and hear the 10 Da qualities and then we'll chant them together and we'll move forward. So the last four lines of these, of these all 10 Da mantras, and I'll, I'll chant all 10 for you to serve you. Shurda Yuan Man Ling Shen Nao Sheng Yuan Man Ren Di Tian Dao Shen Sheng Ning Fu Wu Shu Lian Kai Ke Pan One more time. Shurda Yuan Man Ling Shen Nao Sheng Yuan Man Ren Di Tian Dao Shen Chin Ti Fu Shu Lian Kai Ke Pan. So, what does it mean? Da Yuan Man is the greatest enlightenment. The first line, Shur Da Yuan Man, means the tenth of the greatest qualities is Da Yuan Man, the greatest enlightenment. Ling Shen Nao Sheng Yuan Man, soul, heart, mind, body. Enlightenment. Remember, Da Yuan Man, so Da is the greatest. Yuan Man means enlightenment. Ling Shen Nao Sheng Yuan Man, so obviously the last word is enlightenment. So Ling Shen Nao Shen is what? Ling is soul. Shen is heart. Shen, just like your heart. X I N, Shen. Soul, heart. Now is mind. The Mandarin word N O A, now is the mind. So Ling Shen Nao Shen Yuan Man, Soul, Heart, Mind, Enlightenment. Now this is a whole different side of teaching, uh, but I'll give you a tidbit. Um, Master Shah brought, uh, it's just amazing the wisdom that he has received from heaven. He said there are actually, you have to go through several steps before you can become fully enlightenment. The first one is body, excuse me, uh, uh, soul enlightenment. What is soul enlightenment? Soul enlightenment is when your soul goes through your soul houses, your chakras, on the way of purification, becoming more and more and more love, more and more and more light and more purity, basically. And it goes up through the soul houses, dunk, 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 dunk. And he says, you know, just ask anybody with their third eye. If they have a true strong heart eye, they can look right and, and ask, dear heaven, can you please show me where this person's soul is? Is it sitting in the heart center below it? He did a soul reading and, and heaven shared with him that about 85% of humanity's soul sits below the heart center. Only about 15% of humanity's soul is at the heart center or higher. Um, so where does your soul sit is, is the purity. And you can tell, the, you know, the Dalai Lama as example, how pure is that soul? Very high soul. His soul is probably somewhere between here and sitting above his head. So you ask, well, where am I? Well, ask yourself, do you have negativity? Do you uh, have jealousy? Do you gossip? Do you, uh, do, neg do you watch negative things? Are you enthralled by anything negative, like the news, et cetera, et cetera? You, you're a long way from enlightenment. And so the soul enlightenment is the easiest 
level of enlightenment to reach. The next level is heart enlightenment. Very difficult. Pure heart. No jealousy. No animosity. Complete selflessness, like Mother Teresa like. Okay? Are you there? That's another layer of enlightenment. I'm so far from there, I can't even begin to imagine. Very far, but I know the steps. I'm working on the steps little by little, just like you. What's the next layer of enlightenment? Mind enlightenment. Whoa! Master Shah said, easier to move a mountain than it is to reach mind enlightenment. What does that mean? How do you remove all forms of negativity, all negative mindsets, all negative beliefs, all aspects of ego? <clears throat> ego can be uh, when you're telling somebody about on a consistent basis about how this person treats you. That's ego. Why? Because you're looking for attention. So ego, so minute, the, the layers of ego, takes a long time to clear out all of that. That's mind enlightenment. Then the final one, the hardest, body enlightenment. Everybody has this ideology. Three dimension, four dimension, ninth dimension. Oh, I operate in seventh dimension. They all have their own perspectives. I'll share with you the one that I understand from Master Shah. Maybe correct, maybe not. It resonates with me, maybe it'll resonate with you. What he shares is, fourth dimension is actually still not the divine layer. Divine layer starts after that. So, <clears throat> saints, Buddhas, all of those beings of light, they're still in fourth dimension. They still haven't reached God level, which is where they have the highest layers of enlightenment, where you are a, um, a pure being that never, ever, ever has to reincarnate. Look at Kuan Yin, a beautiful soul, reincarnated at least 78 times. We know that because the history documents that. And so a Buddha, an enlightened being, still has to come back and reincarnate. She already was enlightened. Why do they have to come back and reincarnate? It can be choice, but also because there's higher layers. Until you reach layer of divine, uh, you are not a fully enlightened being. So the greatest enlightenment is a marathon, not a race. And it is something that, if you're watching this, we all have a ways to go. So it's better to do it together, because individually, exceedingly hard. You remember the wisdom from the, um, from the greatest harmony, okay? Liu Dao He Shi San Ren Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chang Gong Mi Jo. The greatest harmony. When three people join their hearts together, you can cut gold. What is the deeper wisdom? You cannot reach enlightenment alone. You must help everybody. The greatest service is the highest gate to enlightenment. If you try to do this on your own, heaven will not let you in the front gate because you're being selfish. You must do this with others. Serve others. Assist others. Forgive others. Love others. Teach others how to release ego. Do things in harmony. Thoughts, words, actions in harmony. You must walk the talk and be the ten das. It is a marathon. It is not a race. And so as we move into <clears throat> um, the remainder of this life, however long it is, let us do our part and be part of assisting as many souls in humanity to elevate their frequencies, their awakening, and their love and their light. Let us chant the ten da mantras for ourselves and let us chant love, peace, and harmony for everybody else. So let us chant together the tenth of the ten das, uh, because what is it doing when we're chanting it? It is clearing shen changing blockages, soul, heart, mind blockages, so that we can reach higher layers of enlightenment. That's literally what's happening as you chant it. What you chant is what you become. Okay. The tenth of the ten da qualities, soul, heart, mind, body, enlightenment. The steps to reach, this is the third line, the steps to reach different layers of saints are human being saint, mother earth saint, then you become a heaven saint, then you become a Tao source saint. And then the last line, 
Fu Wu Shu Lian Kai Ke Pan. Only through service and purification of your soul, heart, mind, and body can one climb the heaven stairs to reach the saint level of human being, the Mother Earth, and then the heaven level, and then the Tao Source level. It is a path. No one got to that path unless they were directly receiving communication from Tao Source Creator God and doing exactly what was being told to reach instant enlightenment or they had a high-level master training them to clear the pathway. Now, those are the two ways that I know of. Maybe there's other ways, but most of the time we have to have someone helping us. Okay, this is next. Okay, this is next. Okay, this is next. I am exceedingly grateful I have Master Shah to, 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 to guide me. Thank God Master Shah is here. Um, okay, so let's chant the uh, Mandarin Chinese version. <coughs> we'll chant it six, seven, eight times. Excuse me. Sure, da yuan. And, and Kristen Rojas will post the words if she hasn't already. Sure, da yuan man. Ling shen nao sheng yuan man. Ren di tian dao shen shen ti. Fu shu lian kai ke pang. Sure, da yuan man. Ling shen nao sheng yuan man. Ren di tian dao shen shen ti. Fu shu lian kai ke pan. Sure, da yuan man. Ling shen nao sheng yuan man. Ren di tian dao shen shen ti. Fu shu lian kai ke pan. Excuse me. Sure, da yuan man. Ling shen nao sheng yuan man. Ren di tian dao shen shen ti. Fu wu shu lian kai ke pan. Two more times. Sure, da yuan man. Ling shen nao sheng yuan man. Ren di tian dao shen sheng ti. Fu wu shu lian kai ke pan. Last one. Sure, da yuan man, ling shen nao sheng yuan man, ren di tian dao shen sheng ti, fu shu lian kai ke pan. Again, what do they mean? The tenth of the ten dot qualities is the greatest enlightenment. Soul, heart, mind, body enlightenment. <clears throat> Steps to reach different layers of the saints are the human saint, mother earth saint, then heaven saint, then a Tao saint. Only through service and purification of your soul, heart, mind, and body can one climb the heaven stairs to human saint, mother earth saint, then heaven saint, and then Tao saint. So that is the meaning of the tenth of the Tenda Mantras. Okay? So now I will chant for you all of the Tenda Mantra as a blessing for you. So make your request to heaven. You don't need to type it in unless you really want to. <clears throat> and I will ask uh, the soul of the greatest enlightenment calligraphy and the blessings within the greatest enlightenment calligraphy, countless layers of divine down source, temple souls and more to please subdivide Go to everybody watching, everybody watching in the future, everybody on listening to the podcast. Offer a blessing as appropriate to release the soul, heart, mind, body blockages that are inhibiting them from further awakening to their enlightenment path. As appropriate. Dear the mantra uh, of the Tenda, as I chant you, could you please bless everyone online 
watching, listening, and podcast as appropriate for their request and to further awaken them to reach their greatest enlightenment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Blessing begin. Sure da fu Yi sure da ai Wu tiao jian ai Rong hua zai nan Xin xing shen ming Ar da kuan shu Third of the Ten Da Mantras Yuan Ling Jun Chang Fu Wu Jong Sheng Gong Du Wu Liang Tsu Da Guang Ming Wu Zai Dao Guang Jong Dao Guang Zai Wu Jong Tong Chi To Ming Wu da chen be ro 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 bo chung chi shu jing jin shu chen be dia wang jung six da lu da he she San Rin Tong Shin Chi Li Duan Jin Chang Gong Mi Jo Chi Da Chang Shang Dao Tzu Ying Fu Shin Shang Ji De Dao Ye Chong Shang Eight of the ten da mantras. Ba da gan an dao sheng du yang zai pei su hui dao an yong sun jir da fu shir wei gong pu wu si fang xian Shang Cheng Fa Man Shi Da Yuan Man Ling Shin Nao Sheng Yuan Man Ren Di Tian Nao Shen Sheng Ti Fu Wu Shu Lian Kai Ke Pang Are you blessed? Not blessed. Thank you, Divine Tao Source. Thank you, Master Shah, for bringing this great wisdom, Ten Da Mantras. Thank you to the soul of the greatest enlightenment, calligraphy, and all the countless blessings within. So thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, for all those that have enjoyed, maybe you come in the last one, two, or three. Remember, this is the Ten Da. I have taught over the last approximately 18 or so days each of these mantras because I, I, I offer the blessings, wisdom, and, and guidance Monday through Thursday. I do recommend, I know your time is busy, but these are highest life qualities. To be able to listen to these again will serve you in ways that are so hard to comprehend. If you do not have time but you're a busy person, I do podcasts. All of these come off. I convert them into audios and they come in and podcasts a little bit later, about a week late. And so you can go to my website listed above the video and download the podcast and listen to them uh, at your timing leisure. Maybe you have a two-hour drive every day to work. <clears throat> so there's 
different ways you can bring this wisdom into your world. If you have any significant karma blockages, blockages to forgiving, blockages of ego, cannot be grateful, don't know how to be grateful, blockages of being in a harmonious, no matter what you do, nobody seems to like you. That's a lack of harmony. Maybe you have blockages in service. You just can't seem to get out and serve. Maybe you can have blockages in love. I offer significant life-saving, life and soul journey-saving blessings. These can be in many forms. The one I'm recommending is what's called a soul uh, crown chakra blessing. It is a beyond extraordinary blessing, changes people's lives, is exceptional for emotional blockages as well. But if this resonates with you, make sure you connect with me. Information is posted above and Kristen also posted it in her uh, text boxes. So I look forward to serving you. I offer my greatest love to you. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Tomorrow I will be teaching on Tao Hand. T-A-O Dao Hands. If you've ever wanted to become a miracle level healer, be here tomorrow. If you know somebody who Reiki just isn't me doing what they want it to do, or they don't have the time to hold up their hands for an hour, uh, uh, five or six or seven times before somebody gets a somewhat benefit, you need Dao Hands. Come tomorrow, I will explain to you how you can be a miracle level healer. I will see you then. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.